you want to learn how to make a simple awesome photo slideshow like the one you're watching right now then stay with me i'll show you how before we get started if you're new here subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this without further ado let's get started In order to pull this off, we need images and audio. Have my already. If you don't, just import yours and let's get started. Now, let's start by dragging them down one after the other. Just drag them down and align them on the same track on the timeline. Just do that one after the other. This is what this is what we're going to use as our background. So align them one after the other it doesn't matter how many images you're gonna use to so just do that all right so when we're done we need to crop the feet to get rid of the blank space by the side so right click and click on crop to feet go to the next image right click on it and click on crop to feet and do the same thing for all the other images just to get rid of the black space by the side all right if we're done the next thing we need to do we need to make some changes to these images because we're going to use them as our background so we don't want it too bright too, too sharp so we're going to add uh, blow to it so go to effect and search for square block search for square block yeah here's it drag it and drop it on the first image now you can see it that's what we want so right click on it and copy effects now highlight all the other with the remaining images and paste effects and it will apply to every one of the images so this is what we have we're gonna use it as our background all right I think we're doing well so far so the next thing we need to do let's go back to our pictures and drag the same pictures and drop them on the next timeline or on the next track on the timeline right above it make sure it's the same image as the one below just drag them down one after the other and align them on the top track on the timeline do that for each of your images all right when you're done we need to crop the feed but this time around let's right click on it go to crop and zoom then you change it to 16 9 and adjust it go to the next image go to crop and zoom and change the ratio to 16 and, and click ok go to the next image right click on it do the same thing to all the other images all you need to do is to right click on it you go to crop and zoom and you change the ratio to 16 9 and click ok do the same to all the other images all right now that we're done cropping our images let's pre-render it and get rid of the red line just for smooth playback click that icon right there all right when, when that is done, we can preview it and see how it is. Just go through it and see if it's okay. If it's not, you can make some adjustments to it. Click play and let's see the preview. This is what we have. Isn't it awesome? So far, I think it is. So let's go back. The next thing we need to do, double click on the first image and go to transform. Now. 
change the scale to 70 and click OK to 70%. So the next thing we need to do is to add border to it. So go to Effect Utility and drag and drop border on the first image. Now double click on it. Let's go make some changes to it. So go to Video Border, change the start color to any color you want. I'm gonna pick a uh, purple or something like that. Then this, the end color, I'm gonna choose yellow. You can choose any color you want, it doesn't matter. Just go for what you want. So this is what we have. Then let's adjust it too. So when we're done, now let's double click on it. Now we need to add some motion to it, just like this one, just like this. So now let's do that, double click on that image and close this window and go to motion. Now we're looking for a particular effect, this very one, grow, shrink. So double click on it and it will apply automatically. That's the effect we're going to use, that's the only mo uh, motion we're going to use. So now all we need to do is to duplicate that. How do we do that? Just so on that first image, right click on it and click, right click and copy and click on copy effects. So go back to all the other images, highlight them at the same time, then paste effects. And now what we've done is we apply the effect to all the other images. So it will look just like the first one. So you can preview it. Or you can pre-render it first, then you preview it and see what you have. So we can now transition to it. Go to transition and drag and drop in between the, the images, not the first track, the second track, the background images. So drop those transition in between them one after the other. Just drag and drop it in between the images one after the other. You can apply transition randomly. So double click on the transition and make some changes to it. Let's reduce it to 20. Well you can choose, you can choose, you can pick any number you want, but 20 I think is okay. Then click on apply to all and to apply to all the transition. We need a very short transition, we don't want it too long. So when we're done, there's another thing we can do. We can add a uh, soundtrack. If you have them, go ahead. Drag, click on it, drag it down one after the other and make sure you align it with the transition. Make sure it's aligned with the transition so that the movement will be smooth. So drag them down one after the other. Do the same thing to all your other images. So when you're done with that, all you need to do is to preview it. Just listen to it. If it's too loud, you have to reduce it. So just double click on it and go to audio window. Then you can adjust it just the way you want it. Do the same thing to all the other audios and make sure it's not too loud and probably not too low. Just make sure it's okay. So when you're done adjusting that, there's one more or last thing we can do. We can add background music. So go look for any background music of your choice. Just drag it and drop it on the last track on the timeline. Any music of your choice. Now drop it right there. Then just go through it and listen to it. You can cut out any part you don't want. So I'm gonna cut the first part out. And if it's too long, longer than your video, you can go and cut out the last part. And if it's not, you can you can duplicate it. You can copy and paste and make it longer, as long as you want. And just listen to it. If it's too loud, you can adjust 
the volume now that we we're done we're we're pretty done you know right now so let's just preview it just click on play and let's see what we have isn't it awesome so it's how you put together a wonderful slideshow like you can use many images or you can use it in your video so I think we're pretty done here so when you're done just click on that export button and export it and see and check your final product and talking about final product this is our final product check it out isn't it awesome If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so I can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also be sure to check out my other videos on this channel as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.